Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with Mac Tech here. Today we're taking a look at the RK68 Plus. Now this is a refresh of the original RK68, which came with the compact 65%. This one has exploded out the ARA and navigation clusters. It does come with an 1850 milliamp hour battery and a lot of RGB. Now, it comes in your standard Royal Clutch orange and black box with your user manual that explains the functionalities and some of the shortcuts that are available to you. It also comes with a bag of four extra switches. In this case, the Royal Clutch Browns, which are quite similar to the Gatoron Browns, though I believe they're manufactured by Otemu. You can also get a standard USB-A to USB-C cable, as well as a keycap switch and key puller. So we see that in this case, we're looking at the black version of this board, and it does have its own LED clusters for indicators, as opposed to using some of the backlights on some keys. We see that the USB-C connector is actually quite flush with the case, so we're probably not gonna have any problems with any cables. We also have two feet for different typing angles from eight to 12 degrees, and switches for the different wireless modes, as well as turning it off. Now, stabilizers are very basic and do come slightly prelude, but if you want better sounds, you're going to need some tuning. One thing that this board does shine at, though, has got to be the RGB. It is very bright in actual light. Not sunlight, but artificial light. You can see that you notice the colors actually quite well. Uh, they shine through the ABS double shot plastic. These keys are quite thin and quite cheap, so besides the normal tuning and modifications for boards, one of the things that's going to be needed is a new set of keys for this keyboard. But let's take a look at some of the effects here for a second. Now it also has the ability to set eight solid colors. Now that it can come in handy if you'd like to match the light color with one of the colors on your keycap set. Now for those that didn't know, this is actually just a wireless version of the Nimbleback LTC 681. Um, and as you can tell from the case, it's basically the same except it doesn't have the spot for the switches or the spot for the magnetic 2.4 gigahertz dongle holder. Now, while reviewing this one, I noticed there was some, I don't know if I want to call it a crack, but I could definitely feel it right near the indicator lights, which was disappointing to say the least. But other than that, let's hear what this sounds like stock.